Hi, my name is Gordon McKenzie, and I'm going to show you a way to paint the illusion of looking through water. It's much like looking through a Venetian blind. If you can imagine a blue Venetian blind is slowly opened, at that point you can see not only the blind, but what's behind it. We're going to paint this picture in the same way. The only difference in this picture is I have saved a few objects that are stuck out of the water, in this case some rocks. And I want to save those with some packing tape. Don't worry about pushing the packing tape down completely at this point. Just get it on and make sure everything is covered. Now I'm going to cut out the shapes of my rocks and it's really important that I have a very sharp knife to do it. If the knife that I'm using is dull, that means I'm going to have to push extra hard to get through the tape, which means I'm going to go into the paper as well. So, if you're using this type of knife where the blade snaps off, break off a fresh blade for yourself before you start. And press lightly. As you can see, it comes off without much problem at all. Packing tape is a tremendous tool for masking things that you want precise edges on. It's much better than masking tape because paint will not go in underneath it. I would suggest, however, that you test this on the type of paper that you're going to use. Some papers will tear when you try to lift this off later. This particular paper is Arches and it will stand up to this process quite easily. Just in case you are afraid that the tape might tear your paper, you can always use a hair dryer to just warm the tape slightly. It will lift off quite easily then. The next step, once I have cut out my shapes, is to go over it and rub down the tape completely onto the paper. You should be able to see the texture of the paper coming through the tape. Once this is done, then I'm going to start putting on the paint. Now, going back to the idea of the Venetian blind, the first color I'm going to put on will be the color of the blind, the blue sky. And it's going to be a graded wash from dark in the foreground to light in the background. Now, to grade my wash, I don't need to get more paint. What I need to get is more water. So I'll just dip in the water, wipe back a couple of times. Dip in the water, wipe a couple of times. And my wash grades naturally on its own. We now let this dry, because the next thing we're going to do is paint the spaces between the Venetian blind. The next color I'm going to work with is a green-brown mixture, and this represents the cracks between the blind. Essentially, it's what you see when you look through the water at the bottom. We're not going to paint this like a Venetian blind with straight lines. What we're going to do is paint the lines for the cracks between the, the blind in long flowing strokes that fit together. I'm going to start somewhere here in the, the foreground because I want to put in a few good long sweeping marks here. This represents the movement of the water. And you'll notice how I'm trying to keep the, the marks from touching each other. 
Sometimes they're long, sometimes they're short. And I'm going to try and make these flow around these rocks that are sticking out. Notice how one mark sort of keys into the next. Not at exactly the same distance each time, but more or less parallel to it. All right, we're going to leave that there for now and let it dry.